Welcome to Techno Dad Life. In uh, today's video, we're going to be installing the flash plugin, which preserves your either your SSD or your USB flash drive if you're using those as a boot device. Now, this is an interesting plugin because the plugin itself works very well, and there's some options. But if you do the options wrong, you can basically make your system read only. Then you have to reinstall everything and lose your data. So definitely be careful on the second part. And uh, also today, to do this video, you actually have to have uh, Open Media Vault Extras installed and the Docker repo installed and also Shell in the Box. So if you don't have those, make sure you look at the video up here to get those done first. And otherwise, if you like and if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And here we go now. So before we get started with the Flash plugin update, we want to go to Update Manager. And if there's any updates, we want to do those right now. Once that's done, click Close. Next, go over to Plugins. We're going to look for Flash. There's the Flash Memory plugin. We're going to click that and install. Once that's done, click Close. That will reload the page. So next, we'll click on the Flash Memory plugin. And so now Flash Memory is installed and is actually functioning. So contrary to what it says here, you don't actually have to enable the plugin. It's enabled automatically. So right now you have 80 to 90% of the Flash Memory done. And so the notes are optional. And what it would be doing is changing two different things here. So first, a little context here. I've tried to do this three times now, and uh, what it's done is created, made my machine read only uh, each time. So I'm gonna try this one last time and see if it works. So if not, uh, if you're not interested in making your uh, system read only, or you know much better than I do, don't do this, or if you do under, know more than I do, then definitely try this out, but I would, not do this on a production machine. I would do this basically at an initial install. So now we're going to click on Shell in a Box and then Web Client, Advance, Proceed, Login as Root and your password, hit Enter. So first thing we're going to do is type in nano slash etc slash fstab. Hit enter. Next, we're going to tab down to this line. And we're going to delete some of these. So we're going to type in no A time, comma, no direct A time, comma, errors equal remount, dash RO, space zero, space one. Go down one, hit a number sign in there to block that out. Okay, so now we're going to just make sure that we have this correct. So we have the etc space errors, oh, etc space no A time. Okay, so we're going to try this one last time and see if it works. So hit control O to save. Then hit enter and then control X to exit. And we're going to exit that. So next, next, let's go to plugins. Let's install a plugin. And we're going to install disk stats. Click install and yes. Click close and log out and re-log in and it seems to work and i'm going to do one more thing i'm going to reboot the system and see if it still works okay we're going to log in again okay so it seems to be working uh so definitely be extra extra careful when you put in everything because uh, you can make your machine read only if you do this 
So that's it for today. So make sure you like and subscribe if you found this was helpful. And we'll see you next time.